Hey everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Bitmoji signature that you can add to your emails or any documents. So in order to make our Bitmoji signature, we're going to use Google Draw. And the shortcut is not that short, so I'm actually going to type in Google Draw in my Omnibox. And it is the first one that shows up, so I'm going to click on it. And here we are in a new document. So what I really like about this is that you can resize it very easily by going down to the bottom right. I'm just going to click there and I'm just going to drag it. Um, I think this is about a good size. I'm going to release. There you go. The next thing I'm going to do is add my Bitmoji and I'm going to use my Bitmoji extension up here. If you don't already have it, you're going to want to do a Google search for a Bitmoji extension and you're going to want to install that into your Google Chrome and then sign on using the account that you use when you're on your mobile device so that it syncs up all of your Bitmoji onto your computer. Okay, so I'm going to click on it right now. And this is synced up to my account on my phone. And I'm just going to choose, I'm going to type the word pose because it has all of the ones that don't have words and it shows the full body and you can play around with it and see what really you want to use for your signature. But I think, um, I think this one looks good. Right click, copy, and then just paste it right here. And I, lo I know it looks pretty big, but um, you'll see it will be the right size. And I'm using my arrow buttons now just to kind of move it around. You can also drag it with your mouse whatever you prefer, okay? All right, so I think I also want to show myself holding a laptop since I am a technology teacher and I think that would be kind of fun to put by my signature. So I'm going to do that by clicking on insert, image, search the web, and whatever you're looking for, go ahead and type it. And make sure you follow that by typing transparent background or PNG so that your images don't have a background behind it. Okay, so I'm just gonna type in PNG. I think I like this one. I like how this one's facing forward so I can actually type something in the screen if I wanted to. So I'm going to double click on that. I'm just going to resize it by clicking on the corner right here and just dragging it in, resizing it. And then I'll drag it on top of my Bitmoji. Ooh, that's pretty big still. I'm going to move it over. So it kind of looks like I'm holding it to the side right there. Let me take a look. Mm, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to move my Bitmoji over a little bit and then move. There you go. I kind of like that. So now I'm going to enter my actual information in my signature. So I'm going to need a text box. You can go up here to the shortcut for text box or you can go to insert text box. It's the exact same thing. And then you're going to click up here in the corner and drag it to the other corner just like that and then start typing in your information. Maybe my phone number. And then, oops. <laughs> and then down here you could put the address or any other information you need. Um, I like to put a quote and one of my favorite quotes, let me see if I can find it. I think I found one of my favorite quotes, so I'm going to paste it right here. And there it is. So uh, I'm just going to keep that size for now. I'm going to manipulate my information up here and see how it pushes it down and then adjust from there. So I'm going to go ahead and change my name, the font. Um, for the sake of time, we'll just choose one of these up here. There you go. I kind of like that. Change the font. Um, Let's make that bold. That's better. Let's see. Now this looks really humongous. My name should be the biggest thing, I think. Uh, I think that means I can make my name even bigger. Let's see what the next one looks like. But that looks pretty good. I can make this one big too. Okay. That looks pretty good. And here's the one who said the quote, so I'm going to make it a little smaller, actually. There we go. 
So this is a great signature, but a lot of people also like to add their badges on the bottom. So if you have received certification for certain things, you can also add that down here. I'm just going to do one so that you can see how to do that. I'm going to open a new tab up here and uh, maybe I'm going to type in Google Educator Badge. That's one of the common ones. Images. And then we're going to... Um, Whichever level you are, I'm just going to click on one. Right click it. Copy image. Go back to our project and we're just going to paste it right here. Ooh, it's humongous. So again, resize it. I'm going to put it down here and then I'm just going to continue to add the rest of my badges all the way across. So I'm not going to do all of them, but for the sake of time, I think that looks good enough for now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save this file. So go to file. We're going to download it as a PNG. So PNG files are lossless. I like to use PNG. You can also use JPEG and it works fine. I'm going to use PNG, it's just what I'm used to doing. And it went into my downloads folder. So now I'm going to go into my mail and show you how to insert this Bitmoji signature. We are in Gmail now, so once you sign on, you go to the top right and there's the settings icon right here. So once you click on the settings icon, it brings you to this view. So scroll down until you find the signature section. Click create new, give it a name, we'll just put Bitmoji, create. And if you didn't know, you could actually create your signature manually here. You can type it in and adjust it from here, but we don't have to because we already created it in Google Draw. So we're going to click on insert image and upload since it's in our computer. Select a file from your device. Make sure that we're in the right place. Downloads. Yes. And there it is right there. So I'm going to click on it. Open. And let's see how it turns out. There it is right there. So I really have no idea how big that is compared to the email. If you click on it, you can choose small, medium, large, and um, I guess it's trial and error. You would just have to try it, see it, and then come back in and make adjustments if you need to. I'm just going to click large just to try it out. And then from here, we want it to actually show up in our email. So right here it says four new emails use and then choose the Bitmoji signature and on reply forward use Bitmoji. So when you actually create your emails, the signature is automatically there. When you are done, make sure you hit save changes because if you don't, it will not save what you did. So click save changes. So I just clicked on compose new email just to check out and see how it looked. So it looks pretty good to me, but I'm just going to start typing random letters to see how big it is compared to my typing. That's actually pretty good. So I think that setting is what I would use. I would use the setting of large and it looks like a pretty good size. So if I finish my email, that would be perfect. So that's how you do it on Gmail. Here we are on Outlook. So Outlook is a little bit different. So we're going to start by clicking on new email and then this window should pop open. And right here you see signature, click on it, signatures, and then we're going to create a new one. So go to new and we're going to give this one a name as well. Oops, I spell it correctly. <laughs> Press OK. And then again, we're going to insert our picture that we made earlier and it looks just like that. So click on that right next to the globe. And it's the first one. And there it is. And again, I'm not sure what size this is going to look in my email. So I'm just going to click OK. And now I just opened up a new email to see how it looks. So again, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to type a little bit above it to see how it is compared to the size. And it is a little bit big, but not enough for me to actually want to make changes. I think that if I type and it's that size, I think it's fine. I think it looks pretty good. So I didn't have to adjust the size for that at all. So I feel comfortable with that. So that is how you create and insert signatures and especially a Bitmoji signature. If you have any questions, please let me know and I would be glad to help. Thank you for watching.